Welcome to Joe B, a movie and a bottle of wine. Hey everybody, happy Valentine's Day. Matt and I got together, it's Wednesday. I know tomorrow is Valentine's Day. I'm gonna go get my mom some roses and I got her a card. But Matt and I enjoy Valentine's Day so very much because we love each other so much. He's my best buddy in the whole world. So Matt brought over the um, heart-shaped pizza from Papa John's. It was delicious. He'll show you a picture. This is the empty box. There's nothing left in here. We ate it all. Oh, it's gone. It was really good. It was really good. It was like a thin cracker crust meat lover shaped like a heart. We loved it. And then Matt brought over. He loves to bring me my favorite thing, Krispy Kreme donuts. And this is what's left. Matt and I have been chowing down on the donuts. Mmm, forbidden donut. <laughs> it was like an anteater going after a pile of ants. It was like, shoof. <laughs> I just stuck my face down there and went, <laughs> <laughs> So I got Matt some fun stuff because I like to go to the dollar store and get him cool stuff. I got him a little card. Didn't that look like a wine bottle? I thought it was adorable. And it's got a bunch of sentimental stuff in it. I'm not going to subject you to that, but uh, that's the card. This is Matt's card. Look at this Kung Fu cat. Kung Fu cat. That cat is coming at you, people. Here comes your big Valentine's Day hug. And then we had a great big hug. <laughs> and I got Matt's mom some things. Ring for wine. <laughs> And I got her a head massager. You guys cannot go wrong with this. For a dollar at the Dollar Tree, I rubbed it on Matt's head earlier, and his legs started going like this. I know. Like the like the little rabbit, like I Thumper. Know. Yep, 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 <laughs> yep, 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 yep. And I got him a little box full of hugs love and kisses and it's got kisses in it it's a monkey box y'all monkey glitter box <laughs> <laughs> we had a great valentine's day i hope you guys did too enjoy each other love each other have fun be friends <laughs> she's gonna sit there big beautiful A movie star is that a movie star hey everybody it's Joby and Matt and the cat we watched some pretty good movies this week I weeded them out did the best I could for you it wasn't a lot to choose from this week it was like the only thing that I saw was Bohemian Rhapsody and uh, I watched that once when I rented it, and I watched it again with Matt because we got so much out of it together. Uh, I just cannot say enough good about that movie. Uh, that little fellow that, that did him was amazing. Uh, you couldn't... <laughs> I mean, it was like he fell out of the sky to play the part, you know what I mean? All the music was awesome. I got a lot of stories behind the music. We... Oh, I can't say enough about it. If you don't watch this movie, you are wasting your time. Um, I, uh, the only other thing that came out this week was another movie called At Eternity's Gate. It was Willem Dafoe, and it was the story of Van Gogh. Uh, very interesting. Um, he cut off his ear as a gift to Gu Gauguin. Um, he gave it to a woman to give to him because the guy was another artist that was living with him and he was leaving and he wanted to give this to him as a parting gift <laughs> what a hoot um it, it was just something if you want to learn something or understand something um i really got more out of the um commentary if you watch the commentary after you watch the movie but that means you have to watch the movie twice but there was so much information in that you know if you if you really just want to learn something about van gogh watch it and then watch it with the commentary um it, it was so boring in the red box this week that i watched acrimony again i cannot say enough about how much i love that movie with taraji 
Uh, it was so much better the second time around. I, God, she is a great actress. Great actress. Um, let's see. Uh, I watched one called The Car, The Road to Revenge. It was pretty good. It was pretty gruesome. I mean, what more can a car do but drive over top of you and drive over your head and watch your head bust like a watermelon under the tire? So it was... <laughs> It was quite gruesome, everybody. Um, the guy died. He was a, a, a prosecuting attorney or something. He was helping to get rid of crime. And these crime people came and threw him out of the window. He landed on the car, and his spirit went into the car. And then the car pursued them to kill everybody. Um, you got to watch the follow-through. Um, if you want to follow through to the end of this for the spoiler alert... <laughs> Um, he says that he's going to be with the girl and, or chase the girl or do whatever he can to be with the girl until he dies. Well, the car, uh, she pushes it off a cliff into the water and she thinks everything's all said and done and then all of a sudden the lights come on. Is there going to be another one? I would watch it. It was good. It was a good movie. I would watch it just because I'm so easily entertained. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? <laughs> if you're easily entertained, you're going to like this movie. If you nitpick shit, don't watch this movie. <laughs> uh, Granddaddy Daycare had Danny Trejo in it. So he is the father of the wife. And he gets out of jail. And he comes back to the house. And the um, husband is a writer. But he's not doing well. He's having a hard time. He's got a writer's block thing. So he opens up a granddaddy daycare in the house and lets seniors come and stay at the house because it's quite lucrative, but it hinders him from writing, but he gets wrapped up with them. And, and it's such a good story. It's really cute. It's a time killer granddaddy daycare. It's a very different role for Danny Trejo because he's not cutting somebody open and grabbing a hold of their guts and running down the hall and jumping out the window and using their, their intestines like a swing. I mean, y'all remember Machete. He's like the toughest guy in the room. <laughs> so watch that and be entertained with Danny Trejo's character. Um, uh, one that, oh my goodness, I love very much was uh, The Widows. Uh, started my week out. We're working backwards, so... This, this was one of my favorite ones, The Widows. It had Viola Davis. She was married to Liam Neeson. All these women were married to these guys. They were in a heist where they were stealing from uh, a bad guy kind of thing. I'm sorry, I got a cat hair in my mouth. If everybody's wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to catch it. <laughs> um, their husbands are killed in a heist, and she finds Liam Neeson's um, notebook, notebook of crime, and it has what the next heist is going to be and how much it's going to be, so, um, the, the bad guys come hustling Viola Davis for the money that was burned up or lost in the heist where the guys were killed, so she has to perform the next heist to get the money to pay the bad guys off, and then the girls, the wives, are going to split the rest of the money. It's really cool how she sets it all up, and, and some of the stuff that happens in the end, I, I don't even want to tell you, but it's very shocking. Good movie. Very good movie. The Widows. Um, I was still gearing up for Glass, so I watched Unbreakable. I finished it with Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson, so I'm ready for Glass. Um, I watched, what was the other one, Matt? Split. Split. So I, I'm, all, I'm all ready. I can't wait to see this and put it all together. Matt and I had a great night tonight. We had our heart-shaped pizza from Papa John's, and Matt brought over donuts, and we had movies, Bugs Bunny, Betty Boop, <laughs> and we always watched the show from the week before. Um, I had a couple of previews for you. There was one... It was very interesting where this little girl and guy had cystic fibrosis and those people have to stay like six feet apart from each other in order to keep from passing whatever uh, virus or, or whatever they have to each other. 
So they went to five feet apart. It was really cute. The girl had a little pole, and she said, are, I'm going for five feet. Or, you know, are you ready for this? And, and that was pretty cute. Um, and what was the name of that movie? Five Feet Apart. Oh, okay. Because it, it was six feet apart, but they were willing to go five feet apart, which was very dangerous for both of them. Um, another one that I watched, these are very troubling movies. I, I don't think I could watch these one after the other. The other one is called Ben is Back, and it has Julia Roberts in it, and her son uh, had to go to jail or something for something really bad that he did. And uh, he either breaks out or gets out or comes back, and she picks him up and covers his ass, and it looks like he gets into a lot of trouble and owes people money. It looks it kind of looked like he stole her car. I mean, I, I just don't know that I could put up with all that drama. i got to get up and go to work. i got to pay the rent, people. I don't have time for that. Ben is back. So, you know, if you like something with some drama in it, those previews look pretty good. But uh, with all the donuts and everything, Matt and I had to wash stuff down. So he came in the door, and this is what we started with, was a bottle of Valentine's Day champagne. And... Spumante. Spumante. I love the sweet stuff. And then we washed that down with some carnivore. That is without a doubt the thickest, reddest, darkest wine you will ever find in your whole entire life. I mean, if you spill it on the counter, it looks like a crime scene. You can't get it up. You gotta get one of those bleach towels to get this stuff up, man. I'm telling you, it's a stainer. <laughs> <laughs> and earlier this week, I had a bottle of wine that Sue gave me for Christmas. I didn't get to share this one with Matt. I sucked it down by myself. What? I know, I do, but he's had it before. Uh, uppercut. <laughs> we had it on sale oh, yeah. at Costco with a coupon. D diddly ding dang delicious. She gave me two bottles for Christmas, so. I'm going to save one for Matt. We're going to share that later. I always give him the array. We got this and that and this and that. And Matt's like, oh my God, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I pick out something that we haven't had in a while. So uppercut will come into play. I hope you all enjoy some of these. This one's a little top shelf, but it's, it, mm. it's the best. Thickest, reddest wine on the planet. And of course, we had to have our loco. Sweet lemonade, had to have it. Sweet lemonade, sweet lemonade, sweet lemonade, yeah, sweet lemonade. Matt shared to sip with me, but he's got to drive home, so he's behaving. Don't worry, Mom, he's behaving. <laughs> oh, and I wanted to, to remind you, uh, your fan, Jared Driscoll, said that his kitty listens to Barry White, and then he can hug him. Hug the kitty. Barry White makes anybody want to hug. <laughs> and if you give that cat a temptation, it'll even purr when you hug it. Boy, kitty cats love those temptation treats. I'm glad you're hugging your cat, Jared, because hugging that cat means so much. I hope you all have a happy Valentine's Day. I'm glad you all came by. I hope you enjoy these movies. I swear, if you do not watch Bohemian Rhapsody, I don't know what the hell is wrong with you. Uh, take care of yourself. Hug and kiss a lot. Bye, everybody. Hey. Happy Valentine's Day. Of course, by the time you see this, it'll be past Valentine's Day. So, <laughs> uh, happy February, Marchy, whatever. <laughs> Bye. We're going to rock it, y'all. <laughs> Thank you for watching Jopey, a movie and a bottle of wine. His legs started going like this. I know. Like the, like the little rabbit, like I Thumper. Know.